fun watch Trojan Pile. Welcome back to Codes Empire, my friends. So, I've got Buddy and Bugs here, and of course you know me, Jason. And we're sitting here, we wanted to do an unboxing <coughs> on this Red Cat uh, drift car that we won from our raffle with uh, Bud Dog Custom RC. Yeah, so anyways, uh, it was a fun competition, we had a blast. And don't worry, I'm working on the video. I will be getting that up soon. Um, so make sure if you're not subscribed to subscribe so you can check it out. So right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dig into this box and check out this drift car. So it's Red Cat, pretty cool. It's our first drift car, so kind of kind of excited about it been looking at drift cars you know and so I thought why not um, so you can see check that out it's pretty pretty cool I think for what it is it's way cool and it actually it has some weight to it too which kind of impressed me I was like wow that's pretty impressive so things it comes with <laughs> You guys are silly. So it comes with a cool controller, pretty neat. It also comes with a charger, which if you don't have one, this will be this would be handy. Um, we actually own a really nice charger that we charge all our batteries with. Uh, it also comes with let's see here some other goodies. Looks like some magazine stuff. Basically some advertisement bits. Uh, bind plug. Here, quick, pop this open. Kind of a parts list it looks like. If you want, if you need some parts or whatnot. So there's the there's the cool parts list. That's kind of cool. So that'll help you identify if you need stuff. Um, a tube antenna. I'm a little unsure what these are. We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. So, like I said, I've never never owned a drift car. Yeah, here's some more cool parts, upgraded parts. Actually, you can get for this. That's neat. So they've got all kinds of neat stuff you can get for this that's upgraded. Yeah, aluminum too. That's way cool. And then of course your user manual. Pretty neat. Has all the information you need to know about how to work this, what it does, what you shouldn't do with it. Uh, sorry about that. So Let's go ahead and I'll slide this back in here for now. Let's look inside this car real quick because I want to check this out. And I'm sure you guys want to see what's inside of it too. So let's quick, let's pop these pins off. So here we are. There's your body, pretty cool. Neat looking body. Wow, so this is how it's set up inside. Pretty neat. Check that out. Let you get a good look at that. So basically it looks like you've got a front foam type bumper pad. These actually, it has, uh, well the tops of the shocks are aluminum. 
but the rest of it looks like they're plastic. They do look like they're oil filled. Yeah, they're they're oil filled shocks. You got all your turnbuckles. You can make adjustments on if you need be. So you got four oil filled shocks. It's front wheel or it looks like it's four wheel drive. Open differential. So that's cool. You've got your battery, which it does come stock with an 1800 milliamp battery. Uh, your ESC receiver and of course a servo and <laughs> looks like a uh, five yeah it looks like a 540 motor brushed motor so so anyway so um, yeah that's pretty cool so it does have a fairly good sized motor for it that's impressive um, definitely has potential going brushless down the road easy to waterproof these especially with that uh, new silicone conformal coating stuff we've got so that'd be slick I'll definitely have to do that because you know if I decide to take it out which I doubt it unless I put some different tires on it or something but yeah yeah that's cool it is four-wheel drive that's way slick so yeah and you can see you've got some aluminum parts already on it uh, looks like an aluminum type uh, drive shaft. Yeah, not bad at all. Really cool. I'm impressed. So, not bad for what it is. Impressive, that's for sure. So, if I decide to take this outside, um, which I don't know if I will because I really don't want to totally unless I can find a super smooth concrete but most of the concretes I know they're a little roughed up so you know maybe I get some different tires or something for that purpose but anyways for now we'll kind of do some indoor drifting with it have some fun never done it before so we'll yeah. see it'll be cool uh, so anyways yeah that's kind of cool you've got all your trim settings you can set on it pretty slick yeah everything so yeah and it does take just so you know it does take eight double-a batteries so kind of more the only other I've only got one other controller that takes that many batteries that's my fly sky so it's pretty cool not too bad handles nice let's plug this in and see how it fires up Cool. That's simple enough, huh? Uh -huh. So it has a, it seems like it's set and programmed for a uh, delay for the reverse. So if you're going forward and then you go reverse, you have to double tap it to get it to go in reverse path. Yeah. That's way cool. You guys want to see this thing drift? I do. Do you guys want to see it drift? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, we've got a hardwood floor in the kitchen, so let's go in the kitchen. Let's do some drifting in the kitchen. How about that? Let's quick throw this, the body back on there, and we'll... Yeah. We'll... I just want to see how fast. Oh. I just want to see how cool it can drift. Yeah? So what do you guys think of that, huh?